Days after an outbreak of Ebola, a highly infectious disease in Kibala district, the Ministry of Health, the Center for Disease Control, and the World Health Organization say the disease has been contained. The death toll belongs to a family of nine in Nyanswiga village, Kibala district, and four people who attended to them. Currently, there ha have been no more deaths recorded since the outbreak of the epidemic was announced in July 28th. The death toll still remains at 14, with only three confirmed to have died of Ebola. But seven suspected cases remain admitted at Kagadi District Hospital and are responding while to treatment. Other people that got into contact with the dead in Kibale District have not reported any signs of the disease, but are still being monitored. At Mulega Hospital, where a clinical officer died after she was referred to the hospital from Kibale, seven doctors who attended to her are being monitored. All the doctors, the nurses, and the support staff who got into contact with this patient are actually being monitored. Uh, they are being observed. Uh, we do not quarantine them as of now, but we relieve them of active duty as they are under observation for a period of about 21 days. And in case they develop any symptoms, that is when we shall take the decision whether to put them in isolation. Isolation centers have been set up both at Kagadi and Malaga Hospital to contain any cases that could emerge. Officials have urged Ugandans to be calm, saying a national emergency task force has been set up to stop the disease from spreading. Their message is backed up by President Yori Museveni, who called on the people to be vigilant and avoid uh, promiscuity because uh, uh, these sicknesses can also go through sex. In the meanwhile, in the meantime, avoid shaking hands. We discourage the shaking of hands because that can cause the uh, contact through, through sweat. Symptoms of Ebola include high fever, vomiting, diarrhea, and bleeding. It is spread through contact with uninfected persons' fluids. Craig Adoda, NTV.